hello and welcome to my youtube channel how are we all doing today this uh video is bust our stash which oh yeah really looking forward to so um we are busting our stash with don and rachel and we are using up a 12 by 12 paper pad now the this is my idea um thankfully to Rachel's next month because I've run out of ideas uh, so if any of you have ideas for bust our stash leave them down below because it would be lovely to hear from you maybe we can uh, do some um, so uh, my idea was we both do craft fairs so I do a craft fair with Lucy um, and Rachel does craft fairs through the summer as well um, so I said to her why don't we do 10 cards with 10 envelopes in a box that we can sell at craft fairs it's using up a 12 by 12 and we are stash busting as well as creating stuff that we can put onto our stalls and she said fab so that's what we're doing so i picked this one this is called classy basics and i picked it because i love the colors of it simple as that um and it has by the looks of it, it has everything in that i need to create um, some beautiful cards and a box so that's what we're going to do now I am going to make my envelopes simply because um, let me move that out of the way um, simply because I'm using A2 cards and I don't have any A2 what you call it um, oh I've forgotten the name of it envelopes so yeah um, right just check in to see if I have my envelope board um, and do you know what I can't see it so we're gonna go the old-fashioned route so I'm not sure how big to do I mean I could look it up of how big to make a, a sheet but first of all I'm gonna take out 10 pieces um, just for the envelopes um, yeah so let me just what's on the other side of this one yeah that would be perfect so we'll use that one and that one so i want it so i've got two of each design so how many is that one two three four five six um so seven and eight um nine because there is going to be paper left over you see which i can yeah um so nine i need the same one just so we've got two of each ten okay and then what's left will be to create the box and will be to create our cards now there will be bits left over i think um so yeah now i uh, need to work out how big to have this so um i don't know if this is going to work do you know what because i'm not sure if this is going to work i'm going to use the front cover um because i have no idea this is me just trying to work out if i can make an envelope so um and get it the sizes right so that bit would come over there like that and it needs to sort of be so it needs to be square really is it i'm wondering if if i cut a piece that is um mm, i'm gonna go with nine by nine let me have a look oh let me just get this out because i'm literally just gonna form put my card on it and then go so i'm thinking if i did a square piece that's nine by nine so this is for a2 cards so we are doing a2 and then we place our card on in the center like so actually i think we could go down another another inch you know so let's do eight by eight so i'm going to do take off another inch Like you said, I do have an envelope board, but I don't know where I put it. It is some I'll find it, you know, after this um, video. Right, yeah. See, that's looking good to me. So 8x8, eight eight, pop our card in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this bit over. 
and then we're going to fold this bit over like this and then we're going to fold up move them bits out okay put that back central fold this bit up and then fold this bit and do you know what i think i think that is going to work beautifully right use these awful scissors so then if i cut these little bits out of the corners i mean in theory i could actually use this as my template and just cut around it so like this okay then if i was to glue that down there that would fit perfectly as my envelope so yes we can do it actually i think that bit first and then that bit on there yeah so yeah we need a piece that's eight by eight right brilliant so i'm going to cut my 10 pieces eight by eight so i hope i hope you sort of followed that um it's just the way my brain works <laughs> so yeah um so i'm gonna get all my pieces and the good thing about doing your envelopes first if you are making everything from scratch is you will get leftover bits from your um paper which is where we which is what we can use to make our cards with so i'll go off camera and cut all of these down to eight by eight and then um, I'll do nine of the envelopes and then I'll come back on and we'll do um, one envelope together. So yeah, I will be back in a second. Okay, right, I've done nine envelopes. We're on the last one. So what I found as I was doing it, it got better and better, um, is if you line it up in the centre so that these two ends are more or less in this centre bit, fold over both your sides, okay, like this and then have a look at these bits here so you can see down at the bottom it's just a little bit longer so we're just going to center that up so that sorry let me just have a look yeah we're going to center that up so that we've got roughly the same amount on both sides and then you're going to fold over these ends and i found by doing that you're getting a much better finish so take this out and then we're going to do the same we're going to cut these a um, little bit these notches out like that and I do like to round them so um, I just think it makes it look prettier okay so just like this right okay so there we have it and then all I'm going to do is fold in the two small sides and as you can see, they're more or less now touching um, where they need to be. So you're not going to have like a really wonky envelope. And then fold up the bottom bit, push it down, and there is your envelope ready to go. So I do have all my envelopes here. The last thing that I'm going to do with these is I am going to get some double-sided tape. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of double-sided tape just on that piece there um, so that whoever uses it can stick down their envelope okay right um, and it just means they're ready to go then oh yeah that bit's rubbish I think I went a little bit too small I mean, you can do the full um, bit if you wanted to for um, the envelopes. So you could go down either side, but I honestly think just a small little bit is fine at the end. So, and you can cut this as well. Um, so it looks a little bit neater, but yeah, okay. But I do find that when it's like torn, you can take the paper off so much easier, which is why I've chosen to like to tear it. Okay, right, that is all of our envelopes done. So I've got two of each design in there. Oh, I've done those two separate way arounds, but that's fine. Um, just getting them in order. 
makes no difference but yeah so there we go we have 10 envelopes all made and we are halfway through our um paper pad how cool is that okay so let's bring in the paper pad and let's see what i want from it we do have these bits as well so i'm just going to rip it all down now i do want to cut these cutter parts as well now what is left from this paper pad when we have finished um i am going to pop in my bit box because i mean look all those sentiments we can definitely use them so um as much as i probably won't use all of these in this one video um although we do have a box to make so i do need two sheets of cardstock to make the box so i will look at that although i'm thinking maybe use that oh look, i might just use that for dimension okay let's move that right i'm gonna grab my trimmer back okay and i think i like these hearts so i'm gonna keep these two sheets for the box okay so move them to the side now we do have a lot of cutter parts and i do feel like um it would be good to cut these um down what i'm gonna do though is so i can see better i'm just gonna cut them like that and then i'll use my little trimmer uh, that piece we can use for card base to put it together again let's um i'm gonna cut this one down as well and we'll use the little trimmer my little one because i can i can just see better so it's easier I'm just going to cut that in half. Okay, so then that bit. I'm definitely going to cut these down as well. Let's cut that top because it's a bit, a bit raggedy. Okay, and then, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. What have I got? Right, this is for, so these I'm going to use for the cards. I love the toppers. So I'm going to actually cut both of the topper sheets. Because they're just lovely and they're a slightly different colour, which is nice. They're for the cards and again, that one's for the cards because we've already got a full sheet of that. Right, now let me move this big trimmer out of the way because we don't want that. Um... Do you know what? with these i'm thinking am i even going to use them because just because we've got loads of scrap there which i think would work brilliantly so yeah i'm hoping we do or we use most of them so what i'm going to do is we are just going to cut these all out again i'll go off camera to do it um otherwise this video will be super super long um, but I'm going to cut all of these down and yeah we can uh, we can then get started on making our cards I, I might even what I'm thinking of doing as well is there's people on wood um, what I might even do is decorate the envelopes up as well um, because we've got lots here that we can do that with and then I might do a bonus as well i might make some matching tags to go with it just because we're going to have so much left um yeah so i might put some i might do 10 tags as well to pop in the box so it can be a card and a tag set um, you don't have to um I'm, I'm just thinking because i've got loads left over i'm thinking why not um so we're here anyway and then any bits that are left will go in our big box so i'll finish uh, cutting all of these up and then i'll be back right that is done um a lot and lots of sentiments i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> definitely loads here that will do with our how many cards as well always need sentiment so that is fabulous um got sentiments in here the sentiments in here and then we've got the pictures as well so what we're going to do now is um i'm just going to get now i'm going to keep these because i think i'm going to use these and the back cover um to create some tags with um 
yeah definitely so that yeah we may as well while we're here um because it is stash busting well it busts our stash um just cutting that bit off yeah so i, th I do think that you know it would be nice to do some tags as well um i right, get my better scissors i don't know why i'm using them ones when my nice scissors are right in front of us so i'm just going to roughly cut it really which is what i tend to do okay and then let's do the tags i'm gonna do the tags three inches wide by seven no uh, by six and a half I think I might do them all different sizes so three um, just because I'm not sure how many I'll get out of this at this size so okay I'm losing bits but I'm just thinking I'm, if I can use it up we may as well um, why not right that's four let's see how oh look at that this one is great as well so let's cut that down to three so how many is that have we got one two three four i've got five um i don't think this is wide enough but um however we can make it work I just want to straighten the edges on it. So I think it doesn't matter if they're not completely the same. But yeah, why not? Right. Um, so like this one's going to be two and a half. Um, otherwise this one can be... So yeah, they, they are going to be different sizes. So maybe not put them in with this. But um, I'm just going to straighten all these edges. I'm just thinking, you know, while we're here, while we've got these little bits and pieces, but I have folded this. So I don't know how well that's going to come across or if we're going to be able to do it. But if I'm putting paper on anyway, are we really going to see those creases? So <clears throat> this is me really making the most of what we have. Um, okay, so three. And so one, two. They're not the right size. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine because i could in theory cut them a bit smaller but no we won't we'll do them different sizes right okay so there we go i've got some tag bases done we waste we try not to waste anything here she says but this is all gonna just go in my recycling bag okay right <clears throat> So let's start with the card. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually taking these bits. Um, I'm not going to go into the new sheets. Um, we're just going to take these. So I'm going to cut a piece that is five by four. So we are doing a two size cards. Okay, so that's one. And I want them to sort of be the same. I want two of the same but with different sentiments if that makes any sense. I'm just going to get rid of that edge. Right. So that they um, match in with our uh, envelopes. Okay, so there's one and then another one. Right. Um, yeah, this one. So I love this dusky pinky colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So one and two. This is so this is just the base um, that we're doing right now. And then once we've done finished the base bit, we're then gonna do we'll then start decorating them. Okay, so 
that one and that one. I think we've got one more set to do. Okay, which is this one. And then I think I'll do the same with the tags as well. We'll have them matching. Just grabbing my cards. I made a hundred card bases. Um, I fancy doing A2 cards instead of my five by seven. So yeah. Right, okay, so that's those I think. Or have I not done enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've done no. Hang on. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, so we have got enough there. Right, let's move these bits out of the way. Although I do want to add a few bits on. So we do have we've got these bits which we can definitely add on. Um, just having a look through my pile of papers. Now all of these ones I'm going to use for the tags. And I've actually got an idea on the tags so that they can all be the same size. Whether it's going to work I don't know but we will have a look right um, for the tags. Now let's have a look. I love this one so I'm going to cut this down to two inches or let's cut um, two pieces for them so to make it all match I'm doing very similar style because okay, so I think it would be quite nice to match so yeah okay so this is i'm liking that um, that okay and then we need this one i like him oh actually um let's have a look i like that one so let's do that let's just cut a two inch piece for this one so then that's going to go on there so you can, I'm hoping you can sort of see where we're going with this um I just thought if we keep it quite similar right and then this one I'm going to use the triangles yeah I'm liking that so let's do two pieces of that so these are two inches by four inches so that's what these um bits that I'm doing now are working out to be and then for the last ones I'm wanting this gorgeous colour. So there's one and there's our second one. Right, okay, so I'm not gonna need any more paper. So we we have got um I mean I, I am doing boxes, uh, like a box to go with it. So take minus two of those sheets off. We're gonna have one, two, three, four sheets of if um 12 by 12 left. So, yeah, not bad considering how much we're making with it. Right. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to stick all of these down. Um, we will need glue. So, let's stick these down. Like this. Okay. Well, there's the first bit. And like I said, they're all going to be in the same style like that and then what I'm going to do is these bits or these bits let's have a look I mean how gorgeous is that so so simple and then oh my goodness how beautiful is that card yeah I think this is what we're going to do um because I don't want these to be um specific sort of themes like I don't want birthday or anything I just want them to be your like just very simple note card shall we say um i mean how gorgeous is that it's so simple in design but isn't that just beautiful i love it absolutely love it so let's do the next one and really quick and easy so a simple clean design oh this one hasn't been cut down correctly oh well it is slightly different which it's fine we're allowed different okay and then um, I like that let's see 
Let's see. You make me laugh. Yeah, I like that. Right, I'm just going to actually bring in the trimmer. It's got the glue still left from where it was attached. There we go. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to glue that. I'm going to stick that there. And then our sentiment on again just across there so there's our first two now we're going to get the matching envelopes okay and we're just going to right, i'm going to make sure that fits because it looks as though it might not fit even though we measured yes it does fit oh thank goodness for that right so there we go there's one and there's the second one okay so there we have it right okay so they're the first two now let's go on to the next one i was worried then because i thought um i might have measured something wrong although technically did we measure when we did the apart from you know the eight by eight piece of cardstock um i don't think we did quite measure okay so that on there and then let's do the square ones so i quite like that maybe that so I'm thinking too although I quite like this one there yeah and then for the other one um just making sure I've got it the right way yeah that one and maybe that one and then I get one of these sentiments oh that one and let's have a look let's have a look um yeah. oh, there's so many so many nice ones oh there we go this is the moment so I'm going to take that one away because I think that goes better with them ones. And then, um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So what else do we got? Oh, let's go surfing. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, there we go. Daydreamer. I like that. I like that one. Right. Okay. So I'm feeling that for this one okay so let's get these stuck down it really helps when you've got a paper pad very similar to this because it makes it makes life so much easier when it comes to um, creating your cards it really really does okay so then this one is going to go in here so i am just going to pop all my cards in because i just want to make sure that they all definitely fit in because oh this one yeah, there we go um yeah because I don't, I don't want them to like not fit okay let's stick this one okay so i'm going to stick that Oh, I've done the same with this piece. So I'm thinking it looks as though have I done that with all of them. I mean, it just helps make the, the cards cohesive. So it's all good. It's all good. Right. Okay. I'm going to stick that on there. And then this one on here. I'm loving these cards. I'm absolutely loving them. And then we're going to pop that one on there. And there we have that one done. So again, let's pop it into the envelope. Oh, here comes trouble. Oh, trouble has arrived. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's happened to all of these. So that's good because it means that they're all going to be very similar right hang on let's go and let trouble in because she's trouble um yeah she does this all the time you know are you coming in if you come in you've got to go in your bed she 
she comes in and she only comes in because she thinks she's going to get something off me that's it only reason right okay so we're just going to glue this down on here now for this one i think i'm going to use um the emotionary a dictionary of words that don't exist for feelings that do yeah i like that um don't think less of yourself if you can't be fearless doing it afraid is just as brave oh i love that saying um i want another thing hang on want another dark one. Oh, don't feel stupid if you don't like what everyone else pretends to love i like that one too yeah i love them but i think um there there we go i want to keep sort of the black um background so that's what we're going to do so this is going to just stay on there now where's the ones for these so it's these two so let's pop that in here okay so i'm just gonna slide that in there's that one and then let's grab this one and glue this one down okay yeah can you see that these are not quite cooked but that is fine I just, even though they're the same designs it's just making it slightly different which actually has worked out really really well so I'm, I'm pretty pleased about that so yeah my husband's in the garden so I'm just sort of sticking my tongue at him and waving and he's doing exactly the same now he, no no <laughs> now he's got a sad face I won't tell you what he did so that one's a little tight now because it's a little tight I'm gonna cheat we're just gonna get the trimmer um because there is an overhang on the card this there we go <laughs> I'm gonna take it off so that's one way there we go perfect so that's one way we can do it okay right so there's that one right now for these ones I do have now I'm quite liking the idea of having those with one of these actually um let's have a look this is your moment girl get after it oh I like that daydreamer I uh, just enjoy where you are now uh dream a little dream every day oh they're lovely aren't they i really like these flowers make people happy i like that so um, the only thing I'm, I'm sort of thinking is it just blends in a little too much maybe what do you think i'm loving it i, I am loving it um do you know what yeah i'm loving it so why am i sort of this is you need to stop we need to stop overthinking if you if you like it if your first um look at something is that you really like it and then you start doubting yourself just go with your first option honestly it re really does make a difference uh, because i was going to change it but why am i changing it if i like it i mean yes i think it blends in but actually when you look at it it doesn't blend in as much as what I was thinking I like it so I'm sticking with it <laughs> so yeah okay like so and then we're just gonna go with it guys we're gonna go with it oh, I love that I mean it looks lovely it really does look lovely right so let me grab the next two envelopes which are here so we're gonna stick this one in there and it's quite nice because we've got like the matching paper oh no no there we go right why <laughs> oh i think it's stuck hang on there we go yeah it was a bit stuck right let's try that again yeah it's slight oh there we go i just didn't have it right right okay so there's that one a little worried again there so yeah maybe next time don't before you stick actually check your cards <laughs> right and then that piece is going to go across there and again we're going to stick this down here 
And then this one on that, followed by this piece. Now, if you wanted to, you can put gems on sequins, um, you know, nouveau drops, anything you want. Um, I'm not. I'm literally keeping them as simple as they come um, because I just think they look beautiful. Right, this one's got an overhang as well. There we go. So we're going to just pop that in. What are you doing, lady? Seriously? Right. <laughs> you're getting all... There you go. I don't know what you're doing. But you're not getting anything, so I don't know why you're in here. Mommy's busy. Right, okay. Last two. So, um, let's stick this down. And I think I want one of the little picture ones and I want one of the big sentiments. There's Lady now wanting out because she's realised she's not getting anything. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I like the for you. So I'm thinking that maybe yeah i quite like that right so let's stick that down so we're gonna have that just over and then we're gonna stick this bit on like that simple as that and then we're gonna grab this last one and we're gonna glue this down okay like so and then I think there's another for you. So if I can find that, the next, like another for you, that would be really good. Nope, wrong one. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Have I really just done that? Yes, don't you have? Right. I've just knocked them all over the floor. Can you hear, little madam? Honestly, she is. A little nice nightmare right okay and let's glue this on actually i was going to go with this one but i don't think i'm going to now i'm going to change it for the raindrops there we go right okay so that is them done right i am just going to go and sort madam mim out and get her sorted let's put these in the envelopes and then when we come back i'll tidy up all of this and then when we come back we will make our box and then yeah and then we'll we'll do the tags as a bonus so i'll be back in a second right okay we are back now i need my scoreboard which i have here and we need our card stock so what i'm going to do is i need to actually measure how tall and how big we are to have this so what i'm going to do is just grab all of the cards okay just like so um move these out of the way one second and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay these down so they're up against it so i want this to be five by six so my middle bit is going to be five by six so let me grab i'm not going to use this half so yeah i don't mind writing on it where's my pen let's use a pencil so so this bit here needs to be five by six inches and then height i'm just going to put it up against my board um we can get away with one and a half inch now it's whether or not i'm going to put the tags in but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to sort because they're just going to be extras. Um, actually, I'm going to do it a two inch high. So we're just going to put all the way around on. And then we're going to add two inch on there, two inch on here and two inch on here. So I know that my base needs to be um, two plus five plus a two which equals nine and then the it needs to then be two plus six plus two which equals ten inches so my 
uh, base needs to be 9 by 10 inches um, for the lid we are just adding 1 8 on so all I'm going to do is just do a piece that is 9 and 1 8 by 10 and 1 8 I hope that makes a sense so that is my box um what I need to do is we need to cut our pieces down so I'm going to do the base first which is 9 by 10 like so and then let's do the lid which is 9 and 1 eighth by 10 and 1 eighth okay so now that um, those are cut very simply all we have to do now is throw things on the floor um, is I just need to grab my score tool and because it's going to be two inches all the way around I'm just going to score it two inches turn score it two inches turn two inches turn and two inches that's one piece done and we're going to do exactly the same to the other piece so we're going to score it two inches I turn it score it two turn it two turn that looks bigger i haven't done that at two i've done that at two and a half you silly 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 girl okay two and then i thought it looked wider and then two okay so now that that's done we are just going to burnish all of those score lines like this okay and then we're going to grab our scissors and these bit here we're going to cut on the inside of that score line and we're going to cut out that score line and then we're just going to take off a bit off either side and that just helps it sit nicely so we're going to do the same to this side okay and take out a wedge and then take a wedge out on the other side and we're going to do that to both pieces all the way around okay and then just finish this okay there's that bit and then that bit and once we've done that what we're going to do is grab our glue and we're going to glue these pieces to the side um to the inside of our box either lid or base i don't know which one i've done yet um so yeah we're going to just stick all of them and do this one like that i have lots of tutorials on my um channel showing how to do these boxes in more depth um and how i work it out so they are there if you would wish to watch them right so there's one bit done and then we're going to do exactly the same to the other bit so again burnish all of our folds when we scarred them and then we're going to cut these pieces like so okay there's that bit and that bit and we're just going to go all the way around like that um if you're not really if you're not like confident enough to make boxes i highly recommend using scrap paper first uh before you do go ahead and use your patterned paper um like i said i use um you know i write it all down and do a little diagram and that helps me um and i haven't it hasn't failed me yet there's been a couple of times where i thought oh it might have failed me but then it hasn't so yeah um but that's my method of doing it is by drawing a picture i'm able to get my measurements correct so yeah right okay let's do that and then do this one and then the last piece 
Move up the glue on. And then we're just going to stick that on there like that. Okay. And then, there we go. Is that the base? Or is that the lid? It's the lid. Right, okay. So there we have our box. All done. So I'm just going to take, open this up. Now what I want to do, um, now I'm going to do this as if, um, you know, you guys don't have a round punch, but if you've got a round punch, punch a round bit out there. However, what we're going to do is we're just going to snip up to the centre and then we're going to just put a triangle in either side of our piece. And what this is going to do, it's going to ensure that we're able to take the lid off of our box quite happily. So let me grab the cards and pop them in. So as you can see, there is room in there. So if I do decide to put those, um, what do you call it in? Oh, I forgot what they're called. Tags in, then I can. But there we have it. So there. And then if you look on the side, we've now got some finger holes there so that we can pull the lid off quite nicely and put it back on. So that's that. Now I am going to decorate the top, especially since I got this line on here. Um, so let's have a look to see what we have. And I think that I might go with um this sheet here so because i know that that center bit is five by six i'm going to cut a piece of this that is um five and three quarters oh, by four and three quarters and then that should sit perfectly on the center there just like that okay because like I said we are going to decorate it um, the other thing that I want is I want something to sort of tie it with I'm quite liking I'm quite liking the idea of lace instead of ribbon so um, let me have a look see what else I've got in here that's too big I mean, I do have some black, but I quite like that colour. Right, yeah, I'm going to just use that. So what I'm going to do, and I've started doing this because I just think it really helps, is I want a piece that is long enough to go around our box and then to be tied. So I'm just going to go around to make sure that we have enough. Okay. So actually, let's cut it about here. Oh, it's going to look lovely with the lace on. Okay. Right. So we don't need that. And then what I'm going to do, before we glue this on, I'm going to find the middle of this. And we're just going to place the centre on there like that. Now I am going to heat my glue gun up for this because uh, it'll be instant adhesion and we are just going to lay that on that. Now this is going to be a way to tie the box to make it look really really pretty. So yeah and then what I'm going to do is I am just going to put, decorate it with some of these um, um, let's have a look there's no time to be bored in a world as beautiful as this. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I might just put notes because it is note cards. And then we've got these lovely pieces that we can just um, sort of place on. Where's all the other ones? Here they are. So we can just, yeah. I'm thinking maybe that with that there and that there just so simple for the yeah I'm, I'm really liking that so while I'm waiting for my, my glue gun to heat it up we're going to stick these down okay so that's going to go there and then I'm going to stick this one there let's do all the corner pieces first 
All the shirts. There we go. And then this piece. I don't want it 3D because, yeah, um, I've got that lace. The lace is sort of doing that bit for me. So there we go. Oh, I really like that. So that's as simple as we're going to get. Now, my glue gun has heated up. So, well, or so I thought it had. Right, I'm just going to put the blob there a second. And then I'm going to do that. Now, it is hot, so I don't really want to, yeah. And then I'm going to make sure that we do either side as well. Because we want this to stay in place. And then I am going to use my hot glue gun to stick this down as well. Okay, so then that's going to go on there like that. Oh, hot glue gun fell out of its holder. Right, turn you off because I don't think we need you now. So that is it. That's basically what we've done. Um, so we can get the box off and then we can just tie a lovely ball on this. Like so. I mean, how lovely is that? Isn't that just gorgeous as a gift? I mean, you need to do it as a gift. Or, but yeah, I just thought, you know, to put on our craft stalls, something really pretty and handmade. Um, yeah, oh, I really like that. So that's that done. So for our little bit of a bonus, let's do some um, tags as well. Okay, so my idea, what I was thinking was, because we haven't got the card enough card so to speak um now i need to back at the back of them but so that they're all the same size because these ones are not the same size and i don't think i can put them in what i'm gonna do oh i don't want to do that yet don what are you doing so i'm gonna just cut around this okay like that Okay. because in theory I don't actually need these bits because what I'm going to do so that we've got the same is I'm going to just put two pieces of patterned paper together um, and that will create a tag as well so then we can get the proper size um, that we want so yeah now I'm just covering these and then what I'm going to do, count how many I have because I can't remember how many I've got at this size. And then make the other ones up. Right, so we've got, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six, seven. So we need to make three. So what I'm going to do, very simply, I'm just going to pop two pieces together like this and it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to grab this one that we've just done. I mean you can use your trimmer if you wish to do so but I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to cut around it. Okay. And that will make our bases. And then down this side. Like I said, you can use your trimmer um, if you wish to do so. I'm just being lazy, I think. And there we have it. We have a gift tag. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera right now, and I'm going to make. I'm going to cover all of these and make the 10 tags and then I'm going to come back on and we'll decorate them up so I'll be two seconds right okay so I have done the tags they're all backed so the sort of paler side is where you, you can write now 
I managed to use so much. I also used up the lace that I put on. So I cut the lace in half um, and put it through the tops. And yeah, they're looking fab. The paper that I have left, honestly, I have one full sheet and this is it just little scrap bits so i am feeling good we've definitely busted our stash today um i'm so excited to see what rachel has done because yeah oh my goodness it's been so fun doing these um collabs with her i'm absolutely loving it and i think she's loving it too so yeah right the last thing to do i am literally going to put these on um yeah I'm not, you know, we don't even need to do much. This paper pad's just worked out so beautiful. We don't want recipes um, on there. Um, cause I'm just gonna, I, I feel like if I was to go really busy with this, your eyes stole all my words away. Oh, I like that. Um, actually, no, I want that one on there. Um, yeah, I feel like if I start going busy with this, it's not going to match in with everything else that we've sort of done. Um, so yeah, I like that one on there, that one on there. Um, I mean, we can have one that's literally just um, a picture, which I'm quite liking. Um, no, I want darker ones for these ones. I don't care, they're gorgeous as well. Yeah, I like that one, I like that one, and I want a dark one. See if we've got a dark one. Might be that I just use um, a picture one. I'm just having a look. Yeah, let's use a picture one. Um, right, okay. I mean, all of these bits. Um, oh, the other thing that I've got left is, because I did use the other side of these sheets, these will get uh, cut up as well and put in um, my bit box. Um, because as you guys know, I do so many how many cards videos, all these sentiments, everything are just going to really help bulk up that, um, my, uh, what do you call it, my bit box. So yeah, feeling good that we've got some bits for that as well. Do you like my little mini embellishment dish? I made it. I was so pleased with it and it works beautifully. So yeah, so they're all going to go into... Um, yeah into my bit box so all I'm going to do now is I am just going to um, glue these down oh, my hand is hurting and this is blocked it's not a very good end so you know what I'm gonna do I'm hoping Tonic Studios gets glue in soon they've only got the big bottles in and oh, the big bottles I can't use them the rubbish <laughs> just gonna swap it out so i've been decanting them into this one um but that nozzle i actually had to cut it down um because it got really blocked because i left the the lid off so please don't tell me this one is blocked up because it is brand new oh no sometimes guys sometimes um let's have a look do we have I don't know if I've got a porky tool to hand. Um, mm, yeah, I've no. I've got a spatula, but I don't think that's going to do much good, is it? Um, yeah, I have no idea. The only thing I've got, but I don't know if it's going to work, is do you know what I think I might do? Just get a new one out. <laughs> This is so annoying. Right, try again. Okay. Yes, this one works. Right, okay. So providing I put my lid on, we should be good. Um, we should be good to go. That's my last two, my last two um, glues. So anyone who knows will know how I go through so much glue. Yeah, so I might end up... I do have some other glue in my stash, so it's not the end of the world. I do have my art glitter glue, um, which I love, but it blocks up so much, which is why I started going to New Raw. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to use that. So I'm just going to pop these on. Like I said, we're not going to make these busy at all. Um, I could probably use so much more of them 
but for the sake of the fact that you know everything within um this set has been quite simple but i'm loving the simple design at the minute i used to be very busy um because if you followed me for a, a while you'll know that a lot of my stuff was very very busy um so yeah i i think i've just changed direction on you know changed my style for a little while and gone very simple but i'm just i'm absolutely loving uh simple designs at the minute so yeah okay and that one I'm nearly there and then i'm gonna see if they'll fit in the box i mean this should do because we've got a tie on the box so it should keep them in um but we'll have to put five like the right way and then five upside down uh just because of the bulk from the knots i mean how how lovely do they look i mean i haven't even added any peel offs on normally i would add peel offs and stuff but yeah like i said just not i don't know today i'm just not feeling it so yeah anyway here's our box so let's open it up okay so put right put your lid back on Dawn because you're not going to use it so put your lid back on there we go right okay so let's open it up i have no idea if these are going to fit in actually and no they're not although they will if you do it this way so just but i was doing this as, yeah we were making this for although you know what i could do to make them fit let's cut them down so i'm going to cut the i'm going to cut a good wedge off the bottom yeah just so they fit in why not so i'm going to cut these are getting cut down to six yeah okay so that's what i'm doing so don't be scared to you know i mean thankfully we did do these simply um but i wasn't going to put personally i wasn't going to put them in the box but yeah isn't it weird how we change our minds halfway through um so yeah i'm just going to cut all these down i do want to round those corners again so i will get my my chomper in a minute and we'll do that okay two left to go and then they still might not fit in the box but you know we'll see so i'm just going to grab my chomper and we're going to do the half inch side oh i missed one that's no good is it missing one right there we go and then we're just going to chomp those corners okay i just think they look so much nicer rounded especially if you're doing a set again it is personal preference um this is something that you don't have to do i have to say my hands had a really good workout today um so all in all this project has actually taken me three hours to do um for anyone who would like to know so yeah from start to finish i haven't really stopped for a break either so i am um, i've just been really enjoying myself so yeah this has been a three hour project and i've loved every minute of it right last one and then i think we're done so what i'm going to do is we're just going to do this turn it like this um that way that way that way that way and then that way the knots and stuff are all yeah right do you know what what i'm gonna have to do is put that one there and that one there and that one that one that one so you can sort of see i'm alternating between where the knots are going so that in hindsight i think if i was definitely going to do this with so that these went in the box properly i would have done a depth probably about two and a half inches i mean it do, they do just to say fit um they they do 
but yeah I think in hindsight I would have done two and a half inches actually that fits lovely and then because we have that tie that's going to keep everything in place now on the craft fairs what I would do is I would take everything out of the box and have it on display so that's what I would essentially do right Dom what are you doing just tie it and then we're going to just tie it i do think this could be a little bit shorter but we shall see okay so yeah i'm going to cut these just a little bit shorter there's one and then and then this side can you hear that wind right there we go so there you have it that is our project for today that is busting our stash with don and rachel so i do hope you go over and check out our, our lovely rachel let's see what she has created i'm super excited and i will be there watching on the day she releases um i cannot wait um but yeah and she did say she has trouble with making boxes so i'm intrigued i love pushing um people to make boxes because i think once you've got it once you've got the grasp of it of how to do it you, it never fails so yeah fingers crossed she does it i know she's gonna smash it she always does um but yeah thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to myself and rachel um if you're not already a subscriber and i will catch you guys in another video very soon but until then please do take care and happy crafting. Bye.